All right, what's going on? Welcome to Mixer University, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Toma Johnson, a.k.a. Masquerade. I will be your host for the evening. Today, we're doing a VST review of Geist. I'm in Kickbox on X2, and I'm going to put in Geist Tutorial. Let's put that in there, and moving on. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, start a new session and I'm gonna go over to the browser and click the uh, synth tab and going to insert Geist um, the VSTs in Cakewalk Sonar X2 leave something be to be desired when it comes to drums they have session drummer and they also have cyclone um, but you know it's still more complicated than we want it to be so I think Geist is a great way to really get your rhythm section going when you're trying to to put a beat together um, it's really important to get your rhythm section going and you want it to get going as as quickly as possible and you want it to be easy because if you're not a natural drummer or you're not natural at uh, you know putting drums together like I'm not I'm changing the BPM to 87 if you didn't see that there um, this is one of the best ones. So over here, this is the browser, and I'm just gonna pick two hi hats. Um, it doesn't really matter which one. Just listening through. I'm gonna click. Um, just find two random ones. All right, so these two are fine, and then I'm going to um, find two kicks. see all you got to do when you're looking for your samples is drag them to the pads and geyser pretty much does the wet the rest which is kind of cool and then um you know i'm auditioning sounds here and all the dolls let you audition sounds so that's not a big deal um but i think it's just ease of use i mean i'm just gonna find some let me find one more i'm gonna find two claps and i'm gonna find two snares and then we'll be good usually when I'm making my beats I, I spend a little more time trying to find the right ones but for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to go fast so you can check it out alright so we found our drums now we're looking at the sequencer here and all you gotta do is uh first this is only two bars so we're gonna change the 32 steps which will make it four bars and um you don't have to drag your your samples in there that's not the way to do it nope you just pick it and it'll highlight it on the sequencer you see it's hit highlight and this is the clap so i just put these in the um the upbeats for my for my my clap and there's my kick all right so let's uh let's do this And it works in real time, you know what I mean? So as long as you're playing it, you get your you get your um your rhythm section going. It's real easy, you know what I mean? It just keeps playing. It's just like um it's the closest thing to an MPC that I can remember. Um beside well, other than you you know, you, you were banging out drums on the MPC. But on this one you just you know, you just insert. It's just I'm gonna try this other kick here. Yeah. You know, and you can bang them out if you want to. I mean, you could, you could bang out the drums, or you can just click where you want the um the kicks to go. It's got a swing, um, it's got a swing knob. It's got you can slide them back so they're a little late. You can, you know, really just add that human dynamic to them. Right here, you see, I'm just dragging across and I'm right clicking. 
from that and do it again. Right click, right click. You see, right, right click, right click, and it's nothing. So I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do here. I think I'm gonna put them every, every downbeat, and then I'm just gonna add some extra here and there. So. velocities by just dragging up and down um, I mean, it's, just, it's real easy to do it really reminds me of FL Studio a lot but it's really just more focused on just samples just samples um, you can work loops in this thing there's a lot of tutorials on it that that you can just um, really get going right away and uh, gonna find uh, percussion here. Let me see here. Put that in there. Let me locate it real quick. All right, and then right there. Yeah. So now normally what I would do um, as a producer is I would kind of leave it real simple like that. And then I would go to my, you know, whatever inspirational um, instrument I wanted to use, whether it be piano, guitar, lead, and kind of build the rest of the song. Then come back and work on the on the rest of the song. Um, but as you can see, that's how easy Geist is. And that was really elementary. Um, the thing is amazing, and I really recommend um, you give it a try. Um, it's about $250 U.S., I think 150 pounds. Um, but it's just a nice piece of machinery if you're looking to get drums going. So here we've been about eight minutes, and that's it. So... Um, there's a ton. Of, there's a ton to it. You can separate each drum track um, um, for mixing. Uh, there's layers: layer mixer, pad mixer. There's so much to it. So, y'all check it out when you get a chance. Um, this is F Expansion Geist, and uh, my name is Masquerade, and we'll see you next time on Mixer University. Peace.